When you're looking for a best Linux distro, you have a tons of options out there. And choosing the best of them is really a hectic task for a beginner. So I created a, a list of best Linux distros for you. Ensuring that you get the best Linux experience from your first boot. I have tried to create this list keeping in mind who is migrating from Windows or Mac OS. That's why the Linux distributions mentioned in this video is very easy to use even it's very easy to install. As users migrating from macOS or Windows are very familiar with a simple UI and desktop. Installing apps on Linux can be a little difficult for the first time if you are a beginner. That's why these OSS is come with pre-installed basic apps that you need daily. And also have a software center like Play Store or App Store to help install most apps without touching the command prompt or terminal. Now let's see the best Linux distros which I think are best for beginners. Number 6 Zorin OS Zorin OS is one of the easy to use Linux OS distro and best for beginners. Zorin OS is an Ubuntu based Linux distro that mainly focuses on providing a great user experience from the first boot. It is even taught as replacement of Windows 7. It's designed to make your computer faster, more powerful and secure. It's pretty straightforward from the step of installation. The default appearance of Zorin OS is mostly like Windows 7 with a similar start menu. The look of Zorin OS is modern and simple so user migrating from Windows 7 will be already familiar with it. It even comes with some basic app pre-installed like maps, leather, photos, videos. Zorin OS has a paid version with all features and a light version which is free and for low configuration PCs. Number 5. Elementary OS Elementary OS one of the best Linux distro and very beginner friendly. Elementary OS is Linux's best for user migrating from Mac systems. Elementary OS gives the look and feel of Mac OS. Elementary OS can surely be called one of the best looking Linux distro available right now. With its latest release Hera, its stability has improved a lot with this feature. This OS has a feature called picture in picture mode and it's only Linux distro to have that feature. This feature opens a selected area of any app into another app. This feature is different than using two apps together as you only see what you select to the other app. There are also various features like parental control, do not disturb mode. Number 4. Ubuntu if you have searched Linux on the internet, you will find that Ubuntu is the one of the best Linux distro available in the market today. Since it was a first release of the Linux operating system that is designed to simplify Linux and make it open to the public. Installing Ubuntu is comfortable and it has all the features you need to have. It has a software center so it is easy to find and install applications. As the most popular Linux distribution, it has the most significant community extension and it's updated regularly to ensure your system is always safe and up to date. It is most widely used on distribution on servers and desktops. Number 3. Manjaro Manjaro is the simplified Arc Linux which is one of the most cutting edge Linux distro out there. It comes with almost all the features of the Arc Linux while avoiding the downsides. Unlike Arc Linux, Manjaro is pre-configured that make it suited for newcomers as well as experienced Linux users. It is not the case with Arc Linux as you will need to set up everything for yourself from the base system. Being Arc Linux based, it offers complete control over the modification of any kind of very easily. It can be the best option for those who like to talk their operating system according to their needs. Installing Manjaro is quite simple and using Manjaro is easy even from the first boot. This makes Manjaro is the list of best Linux distro for beginners. And when you are ready to talk to your OS according to your preferences, you have complete control. Number 2. Solus OS Solus OS is one of the best Linux distros for beginners. Solus OS is built from scratch for great user experience. Unlike other distros which are based on Ubuntu Arc, it's completely built from start. Solus even has its own desktop environment which is called Budgie. Budgie is clean, good looking, fast and really easy to use. From the first impression, it will look a little inspired by Windows with a similar menu like the start menu in Windows. But the notification panel is really great and it's somewhat like Android and notification can be closed when done. 
Solas OS comes with limited number of apps and it's pretty similar to Chrome OS. It comes pre-installed with Firefox, VLC, PDF Viewer, Archive, etc. Solas OS also has a software center. The only problem with the Solas OS is that being a new distro, the community of Solas OS is pretty small. So you might not find the quick support if you get stuck at some problem. And now the number one, Linux Mint. Linux Mint is one of the most popular Linux distro of all time. The Mint is famous for its user friendliness as everything that a new Linux user needs is by default present in Mint. Linux Mint looks elegant and easy to use from the first boot. As soon as the installation is about to complete Linux you will get a menu prompting what apps you should launch after installation complete. Linux Mint also has a software store that helps in the installation of apps without an opening terminal. App Store in Mint includes most kind of basic apps and is great for beginner. Linux is fun to learn. It is also one of the most essential skill to have in the current market. If you learn Linux, you are bound to get valuable skill under the your belt. Even if you never use it professionally, it can give you the ability of use an operating system that is free to use and open source. Developers and programmers can benefit impressively from learning Linux. And if you have the right approach, you can even contribute with the Linux core and improve it. The job market for Linux is also growing at a rapid pace. So what you are waiting for? Start learning Linux and grow both professionally and personally. Also let me know in the comment section below which Linux distro are you going to choose. If you didn't subscribe the channel yet, please subscribe and hit the like button if you like the video. We will meet on next video. Bye bye.